Our goals for the first iMac and the goals for this iMac, they've, they've not really changed at all. You know, they're, they're all about trying to create an all-in-one product based on amazing technology, but making it very, very simple. This new iMac really is an evolution of a product that was so right in so many ways when we first released it. The entire front of the new iMac is just dominated by this incredible new 16x9 display. We've actually figured out a way of taking the glass right to the very perimeter. It's just display and then no display. That's it. I mean, <laughs> you are just completely consumed by, by that image. There's not a detail there that doesn't need to be there. <laughs> There are no visual interruptions, distractions, there's just no other noise. Everything is about the display, and therefore, everything is about your content. The first thing you're going to be just blown away with is the display. The displays are a lot bigger. Ten years ago, the original iMac had a 15-inch display. Today, we start at 21 and a half inches, and we go all the way to 27 inches. There's a lot more screen real estate there, and with so many more picture elements, there's so much more you can really do with that display. Part of the promise of the all-in-one design is simplicity. And of course, it makes sense to offer a wireless keyboard and mouse, and now we're including it as a standard feature of the new iMac. When you first see the mouse, it could not be any simpler. But I love the way that it scales from being something that is that apparently simple to actually being really remarkably sophisticated. I mean, we've finally figured out how to take the multi-touch technology and implement it on a mouse. It's still a point-and-click mouse, but now the entire top surface of the mouse is, is basically it's a multi-touch sensor. This is the smartest mouse we've ever made. There's a chip inside that acts essentially as a brain. As you put your fingers on the top shelf, it can determine where they're located, how many you have, and through your gesture, your movement, it can determine what your intent is. You can scroll anywhere on that top surface. You can swipe. It is incredibly intuitive. I mean, you can use it without thought, you know. It's just the way that you would have expected the mouse should have always worked.